Wait, so was he trying to casually date and you were all oh, in? Oh, yeah, girl. Anyways, long story short, it wasn't that cute of a relationship at first. I hated oh. him. I loved him. I dated the backup to piss him off. Which oh, worked. yes. He was like, that'll do it. He was a bad boy, too. Like, Matthew's so sweet and southern gentleman and all yeah. that stuff. And the, the backup was the complete opposite. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, and it, it upset him. So they lived in the same dorm because athletes lived in the same dorm, and he would see my car there. And so at one point, he, like, waited and, fought, and followed me out and got in my car and wouldn't get out. Oh. And he was You're like, like, "This is so hot." I was like, this is <laughs> yeah, I was get out of my car, and he was like, "I don't. He's not right for you." And I was like, "Who? You, what? You can't tell me that, bro." Oh my God, this chick is a walking red flag. Okay, she gave him all of the warning signs in college for during the brief time he dated her. She goes off with a backup. To piss him off. Right? And what does Matthew Stafford do? He puts a ring on her finger and walks her down the aisle. Are you kidding me, man? This is why we need the red pill. Okay? This is why I do this type of content for you guys. Right? And this is why I'm featuring guys that are a little more high profile. Celebrities, Tom Brady, Matthew Stafford. Kevin Costner, guys like that, that are getting pummeled by these type of women in divorce court, right? So you guys don't make the same mistake because if it can happen to them, it can happen to you, right? And right now, he is still, you know, pretty much in his prime. He has a few more years left in the NFL. <clears throat> She's still sticking around. But uh, give it another few years. Once this guy reaches retirement, she will pull the same thing that a lot of these uh, NFL quarterbacks have pulled, whether it's John Elway's wife, whether it's... Uh, who's that guy from the Chicago Bears? I can't remember. The quarterback over there, he was married to Kristen Cavallari. She divorced him. <clears throat> There's... There's this trend where these NFL wives, Tom Brady's wife, they, they, they begin to head towards divorce court once their careers start to fade. Why? Because they are no longer in the limelight. They are no longer getting the publicity that they used to. And at that point, these women are just like, okay, well, the, what value does he offer to me now? I can just take him to divorce court, get half of his stuff, half of his money, half of everything, and go start my new life with some, you know, hot pool boy. However, it really sickens me when I see stories like this, guys, where clearly, clearly, I mean, she's not even under the radar DG, right? She is like blatant DG, right? She is literally telling you who she is based on her actions. And because this guy is blue pill, and he doesn't value himself, he doesn't value what he brings to the table, he's living in scarcity. Right? That's why, this is why I keep pressing on you guys to understand your own value as a man. Even if you're not where you wanna be yet, you have to understand where your value is as a man. That as you get older, you're going to make more money, you're going to get better jobs, you're going to start businesses, you're going to move up in status and you will have women coming to you right um, however Matthew did not recognize his value which is crazy right because he was the quarterback the starting quarterback at Georgia which is a division one school Kelly his future wife was a cheerleader I mean there are a lot of hot there are a lot of hot cheerleaders on that squad he could have chose any of them but he chose her Ugh. yeah this is just very, very <laughs> frightening to watch a man just put himself in a position where he's going to get screwed, man. He's going to get screwed. Again, they're married right now. They've got four kids. Those kids are still babies, so she's going to stick around for a little while. But uh, you wait. You wait until uh, his career starts to really fade and he's retired. And, you know, this chick just pulls a, a Kristen Cavallari uh, or what John Elway's wife did or a Giselle, what she did to Tom. You know, uh, when she knew his career was ending, you just wait. <sighs> Horrible. Next clip. Here we go.
Girls, if you're crushing in your school's quarterback and want to win him over, apparently sleeping with his backup might be the move because it worked for Kelly Stafford and now her and Matthew have been married for almost 10 years and have four kids together. Matthew Stafford's wife Kelly went on Caitlin Bristow's Off the Vine podcast and gave us all the tea on how she locked down Matthew when he was the quarterback at University uh. of Georgia. She said that when her and Matthew first started seeing each other, she wanted something serious, but he wanted to date more casually, so to make him jealous, she started dating one of his backup QBs who lived in the same dorm as Matthew. And apparently this upset Matthew so much that one day he followed Kelly to her car and was like, no, this guy's not right for you. So I guess the Stafford family is living proof that sometimes you just need to sleep with a teammate or two. Wow. Just wow. And because, and this is why simps are so dangerous, right? And I hate to call him that but because he's successful, obviously, in his own right. But uh, you get, there are a lot of successful guys out there, right, that are still simping. Uh, because they don't have this information and uh, the the scary thing is it sends a message to the women that land these guys that yeah all you have to do is be this you know bad wo bad woman and uh, go sleep with one of his friends go sleep with the backup quarterback that'll really get him that'll really get him and like I said this this type of behavior only works on blue pill guys right guys who don't have this knowledge this type of behavior works on those guys because why like i said they're living in scarcity right they don't value themselves so they think they look at you know any woman they they get like whether it's a girlfriend or someone they're dating as if she's the last woman on the planet as if she's got the golden vagina or something like that i have to marry her now oh my god somebody else wants her i mean they they start operating out of their feminine frame right because this type of behavior works on women right if you want to get a girl if you want to if you want to get her notice you we have something in uh, in you know pickup artistry called pre-selection why does pre-selection work so well where if the woman sees you with other women or a pack of other women she magically becomes more attracted to you it's because of that male to female dynamic right that's the way attraction works it's not supposed to work on you if you're a dude, right? For us, that's gross. When we see a chick who's been sleeping around with different guys, we don't like that, right? We're like, ah, ee. you know, we're repulsed by that. That's our masculine frame going, hey, no, I don't, I want a chick with low mileage, right? But it works on betas, clearly, because Matthew bought right into that hook, line, and sinker because why he's stuck in his feminine frame. This is the problem with being blue pill. You are stuck in your feminine frame. So guess what? You're going to act and behave like a chick. This type of behavior should not work on you if you are truly red pill. No, it should disgust you, it should repulse you. You should be like, oh, gross girl, no, ugh, get away from me. Don't touch me with a 10 foot pole, right? You're toxic, you're tainted now. Right? I mean, even back, like, uh, you know, with my ex from 2006, I mean, that was the whole reason I never took her back, and it hurt. It hurt me not to, because now she wanted me back after she went on this rebound um, with this other dude, took a, like, quick vacation with him, and I know they slept together, right? I mean, I don't, you know, I'm not stupid, right? And uh, so I was like, I can't, I just don't want to. I'm not taking you back, right? She proceeded to uh, stalk me for several years online, right? probably even to this very day. Uh, so, but I mean, I was even still a little blue pill back then. And even then I was like, no, you're tainted. I literally said, no, you're tainted, right? You made your choice, now stay there. That was like one of my last things to her. She was so upset. It was like, you made your choice, now stay there. Did he do that? No, this jackass puts a ring on her finger and marries her. Goodness, man, come on, dude. And it, the thing is, it's like, I'm just a pickup artist. This guy is a professional NFL quarterback with multi-million dollar contracts, multi-million dollar sponsors. He could literally have his pick of the litter. No different than Tom Brady, right? He's not a bad looking guy. He looked a little goofy in college, Matthew Stafford. But um, he's not a bad looking guy. It's like, dude, you can go out there and get a really, really wholesome girl you know, an attractive woman, uh, younger, younger woman, like half the age of Kelly here, 
Does he do that? No. And I understand he wants to have a family and everything. You could still have your family, but you could do it with a better partner. You could choose a better teammate because let's face it, at the end of the day, when you get married, even if you're in an LTR with a chick, she's your teammate. She better have your back and she better not be acting like this. All right, next clip. Okay, here we go. After hearing this Matthew Stafford story about his wife sleeping with his backup at Georgia because she was trying to make him jealous when he would not commit to her for a serious relationship, I am looking at the heartwarming story from a couple of years ago about Matthew standing by his wife's side and holding her hand for 12 straight hours during her brain surgery to remove a cancerous tumor completely differently since it's clear bro just couldn't risk her giving brain to another man even if it was just a doctor. I dated the backup to piss him off, which oh, worked. Oh, yes. He was like, that'll do it. He was the bad boy, too. Like, Matthew's so sweet and Southern gentleman and all yeah. that stuff. And the... Classical DG chick. Oh, he was a bad boy, too. Oh, oh. You know, this chick likes bad boys. I mean, that is the number one red flag of a woman who is damaged goods, guys. She likes the bad boys. That should tell you everything you need to know about her ability to pair bond with you. Besides the fact that you know this guy, right? I mean, especially if it's a guy you know, this is his backup QB, man. And I get it. I played quarterback. You know, as, as friendly as you want to be with the backup or the starter, you know, and I've been on both sides of the fence, there's competition, right? But the competition is on the field, not for your, you know, your chick. It's for your job, not for your girl. You know, I mean, yeah, my backup QB did that to me. I'm, I would, <laughs> I don't know, man. Backup was... The complete opposite. Yeah. Now, a lot of people would never be able to marry a woman who cheated on them with this guy, but it seems that this dude used the cheating as motivation to make sure that a man like this would never have the chance to sleep with his girl no. ever again. And while everyone is calling on his wife to apologize, she actually did, but not to Matthew for embarrassing him, not to their kids who will get teased about this for the rest of their lives, yep. but to the backup for putting him in the spotlight because she was really jealous oh of his marriage. Oh my god. I, I, yeah, I can't even do it. I can't even do it anymore, guys. I can't even do it. Uh, I'm going to have to cover this again in a separate video. I can't do this right now. I'm just, like, so infuriated right now by this. <sighs> As always, gentlemen, just drop your comments below. Let me know what you think of Matthew. You know, I've talked enough here. You tell me what you think of what his wife did to him in college. Would you have married her? How would you have handled this situation if you were Matthew Stafford? Okay, knowing you're going to be making millions of dollars in the NFL and you're going to have celebrity fame, would you still marry this chick who's basically just a cheerleader out there? Who is she, right? It doesn't take much skill to cheerlead. Come on. She's not going to make be making millions of dollars and getting famous cheerleading, <laughs> right? So let me know. Drop your comments below, and I'll see you in the next coaching video. Ah! All right, this is M from the 33 Secret signing out here with the Lamborghini. Yes, it's my Lambo. Go to Matt Cross Official, my IG, see the entire process of me purchasing this vehicle. It took about two months to close, and the same guy who delivered my DeLorean also delivered my Lamborghini. TJ at Florida Exotic Transport. If you ever need to transport a muscle car, exotic car, he's your man. So, very excited about this vehicle. It's uh, actually a pretty rare find. It's Rossifesto Red, which is one of the rarest colors for Lamborghini. It's a $14,880 option, believe it or not. I was on a hunt for one for over two years, just like I was my DeLorean. Finally found one. It's got super low miles, 11K, not bad. And we're going to be featuring this car a lot more here on the channel for many years to come. This is gorgeous, isn't it? Whew. Oh my gosh, take a look at this. It hasn't dried yet, but I'm still putting this on there. It's my IG tag. But as always, gentlemen, make sure you smash that like button. Smash that like button below. Do it for the Lamborghini and the DeLorean. I still have it, by the way. I'm not selling the DeLorean. I'll probably keep this car for a little bit. But uh, DeLorean is going to stay. So uh, we'll get the DeLorean back on here pretty soon. But uh, enjoy the Lamborghini. And again, smash the like button. Smash that subscribe button as well. Helps me out a ton with the YouTube algorithm. And for you guys who want to support my work and all of this red pill, gold pill, platinum pill content that I'm teaching you even further, 
Best way to do that is by jumping into my monthly online coaching program, Seven Months to Mastery, where I'm teaching guys just like you how to go out there into the world and approach and close the youngest, hottest, and most beautiful looking women on the planet. I'm talking about eights, nines, and tens, same exact type of women that myself and all of my coaching students all around the world now are out there approaching and closing every single week. And I kid you not, we are making it happen every single week. And I want you to become one of us. I want you to join us. And right now it's only a buck for the entire first month of coaching lessons from me in mastery. So take advantage of it. It's the best way to support my work. If you love what I'm doing here, if you love what I'm teaching you here, and you feel like I've added value to your life, this is the best way to pay me back. Get into my monthly online coaching program, Seven Months of Mastery. All you need to do is click that link below in my description box. It will take you over to my website where you can get signed up right now. It just takes two seconds. So do that now and I'll see you in my next coaching video. I'm out with the Lambo. Till next time. Woo, so sweet.